Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Pauline Green once again and it's a happy new year. It's 2024. It's the start of another year for us all. So um, I'm trying to create content for the YouTube channel. I've been idle for quite some time and um, today is going to be a bit different because this is going to be a diamond painting content. Now this is the first time I'm gonna have a diamond painting content here on my channel but let's just um, start off with the basics. Of course I'm gonna have to show you the tools that I'm using. Um, I'm not uh, diamond painting for a very long time yet. I just started September 2023 which was last year and I was only able to finish four diamond painting kits so far and the things that I have here are some of the things that um, of course part of the kits that I'm purchasing and some of which I try to just find and see if I do have um, some of the things that I could use while diamond painting within my resources. And so with what I'll show you today, um, it's basically just um, everything that I usually use, at least basic tools. I would call them basic tools for this specific craft. Now if you're not familiar with diamond painting at all, it is best for you to watch um, some videos like this which shows you the types of tools that we're using in doing this craft. And so um, let's not take too much time for the introduction. So I'm going to start with the most important so far of course, um, aside from the pens which I'm going to show you later, is the containers for your drills. So usually the drills come in plastic and um, you, you're lucky if they are in resealable bags but usually they do not come in resealable bags um, so you just have to cut open those uh, plastic um, sachets of drills and you're gonna have at least a way to store them properly and neatly. Now this is the most common ones of the diamond painting drill storage um, that I can find online. I only purchased this at uh, an online shop. So you can actually, I think this is a multi-purpose uh, storage as well. You can, you know, put your jewelry here or some others. If they are a nail technician, they usually put their gems within this um, small squares. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it does hold um, my drills because they're very tiny. <laughs> um, usually when you watch a video online, um, those ASMR diamond paintings, it makes you feel like the drills are huge or at least large. But in reality, they're very tiny. So you can see here, here's my thumb and there's the drills inside this container. So it's very tiny. You definitely have to find a way to store your drill. So this is what I have. This size is actually able to carry 28 colors. So for the one that I'm currently working on, it has 30 colors. So for that, what I do is I actually try to find extra storage um, containers that I have, uh, currently have here so that I won't need to buy again. But of course in the future while I'm still continuing working um, and doing diamond paintings, I'm definitely going to have to buy a bigger storage container for them. But right now I'm going to show you some extra containers that I have. So these are, I think, makeup tubes, um, but definitely also perfect for tiny storage, especially bead-like um, things and stuff that you need storage for. So I also use this um, as an extra. So 28 plus 2, that would be 30. And um, I actually also use these containers. Um, they hold the drills pretty good, uh, just not... Uh, just be careful not to, you know, 
um, let this fall down your table because otherwise, of course, uh, obviously it's so easy to open this up. But what's important to me is it does have a cap and, you know, it doesn't really um, remove the cap all that easily so I can still use this as an extra so I only use this too whenever I uh, necessarily do need um, to use them uh, if I run out of space within the storage one and if I already used some others of my containers now aside from this too I also have these um, small bottle like um, so far actually with my extra drill containers these two are my favorite they can actually hold at least three bags of diamond drills so it's pretty large um i mean it has a pretty good storage inside so i have two of these what i do when i keep it up um i usually make sure to put the largest amount of drills within this two so usually it does hold the black ones because um, usually, wow, how many times did I say usually? Because the black ones are the most, um, has the most number of drills um, sometimes with the diamond painting kits that we are purchasing. So yeah, I do have these. It's screw cap. So um, definitely very very safe you know um even if you throw it around you know your drills are safe within these containers i'm just i'm not sure as to how can i find them again because uh, i actually did not bought these bottles uh, these were just uh, given to me but yeah maybe somewhere online they do have these and of course i'm definitely selling them now Aside from the storage options, of course, um, part of these uh, extra containers that I had, I actually used this before um, in transporting the drills. Um, very, very cute funnels. They're tiny. Um, to be honest, I think it's for lotions or colognes, whatever it is that you wanted to put inside the, these bottles um, when you're traveling. So it kind of actually works well with the drills too so I have this I keep them uh, whenever I really need to use them I do use them but usually I just um, put inside the, the bottles directly from the sachets or the packaging now moving forward um, I have another tool here which is this trainer it looks like this um, so Usually you use this to kind of align the diamonds within the diamond painting kit once you've already laid them out on your canvas and you feel like you needed to straighten them up, um, especially the square ones. Um, it does help, however, if the glue for your diamond painting kit is a bit stronger, you know, it does help you align them, but usually the, the diamond drills will just you know go back to the same position as they were placed so um, in terms of placing you definitely need to uh, if you're a perfectionist then you might need to take a bit more time in placing your drills now moving forward because I've purchased um, so far a few kits already I do have these trays so um, it's not really my favorite to use this ones because um, it just feels so fragile aside from the fact that it's so small and um, yeah uh, you can just you know easily topple them over uh, with one wrong move and you know yeah you can easily topple this over and these are just free this should be part of the kits that you're purchasing um usually they come with one tray one pen and one square wax and that's it so that you can create your diamond paintings and um every kit do come with these tools that's why you know they're just increasing in numbers and i pretty i'm pretty sure that other diamond painters out there, especially the ones that have been doing this craft for really quite a long time now, has a ton of these trays. And I, to be honest, I don't know what 
to do with them at this time but I don't want to just throw it away because of course first of all it's plastic and we want to dispose plastic properly as much as we can now aside from those green trays what I mostly use is this white one so I really don't have the premium trays yet because like I said I only do try and use what I have and I only purchased a basic toolkit before <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so I don't have a stash for like the bigger ones yet and they're quite pricey as well if you purchase them so this will do for now and I love the fact that it has a funnel option here so you know whenever you need to place your drills back to the containers you can just easily slit, slid it inside the mouths of the containers and you know just put your drills back and avoid spilling them all over your workstation or your table now aside from that i'm gonna show you my roller so yep this is part of the first basic toolkit that i purchased um and this one this guy actually will obviously helps you just to flatten out the drills on the canvas once you've laid out your drills um usually this is very very helpful with the square type drills because um especially the ones that has a bit of a grid um a tight grid and you need it to really push down the square drills this will help you um really helpful with the round ones as well so you know just while working with your diamond painting kits you can roll them um, from time to time just to make sure that all the drills are really really touching the glue and they're in there they're not gonna go anywhere after you've um, used your roller so this one um, I can consider this a basic tool as well some others they use um, just a pen with a small roller on top um, yeah so aside from this one of course the pens I need to show you the pens so um, I have a pencil kit here um, I actually won this from the shop where I usually buy my diamond painting kits so this is a wooden pencil case this is where I place all my diamond painting pens um, like I mentioned earlier every kit that you purchase it does come with the pink diamond pen so Inside this one, um, this is part of the basic toolkit that I purchased again. This is just a plastic tweezer. So I usually use this to remove the wax from the pen um, to clean it out and um, just to basically get all the wax out. I usually use this. And of course, I have use this as well in placing my square drills when I had a square diamond painting before. Now I might need to create another video separate for the stash that I have but like I said I just started last year so I don't have that much of a stash yet and um, yeah I'm just um, trying to enjoy the process of doing diamond painting so far. So we'll see how large the collection will go but yeah, that's that should be a secret for now because my husband hmm, doesn't really want see me to see me, you know, spending that much. Now this one is a free from like again uh, my favorite or my usual store where I purchase my diamond painting um, kits. This is a free diamond painting pen that the owner gave me during my first uh, order from their store. So there's that, um, oh, yeah, just a pen, you know, whenever I needed to kit up and I need to write something down, yeah. So, yeah, so if you can see this round ones, these are actually cover minders. So it does have magnets, but basically these are ref magnets refrigerator magnets you can actually place them on your refrigerator when you're not using them 
Now the only actual cob reminder that I had was this tiny pineapple. Now because this is larger and this is heavier, I actually prefer to use them now. I just tend to get the magnet out of the pineapple and transfer it to one of these round ones and use them as my cover reminder instead because they are heavy. Yep. Now Aside from the pen uh, that I showed you earlier, you might notice that some of these ones, um, some of the ones that I purchased, purchased from the first toolkit, um, they do have different sizes of uh, multi-placer, uh, that's what they call them. It's multi-placing tool. Now, um, the only reason for that is when you are working with the diamond painting kit that has a lot of blocking, meaning color blocking, there is a large area where you need to place a the same color drill, this multi-placers can help you. But to be honest, um, at the moment, I'm just enjoying doing um, single placing for my diamond kits. So I rarely, to be honest, use these multi-placers. And there are a lot, a lot of options out in the market where you can actually purchase the metal ones it's actually a bit slim um, compared to these uh, which can you know sometimes uh, these multi placers can cause gapping in your canvas in your diamond painting kits um, especially when you're working on with squares or rounds with rounds they are a bit more obvious when you see those gaps so um, some others, they do invest with um, very good diamond painting pens um, that has metal heads, uh, metal tips, or whatever. Yeah, so these are called multi-placing tools. And this is the single ones. Yep. So you all, you all need to put waxes inside these pens and, you know, start diamond painting. Now, that's all within this... Um, pencil case of mine. Um, like I said, every diamond painting kit that you purchase might come with these free pens and the green trays, so they just, you know, pile up. The collection is just getting larger at every minute. <laughs> Uncontrollable. Ugh, scary. At the same time. Now, aside from that, um, I do uh, have these. Uh, I did not purchase this specific storage. I only was able to find this, you know, like I said, I resource some of the materials that I'm using, the tools that I'm using, um, whatever I can find within the house or whatever things that I already have or uh, already possess. So this one, I use this to stash my um, diamond painting wax. So, um, some of the wax, I definitely hate working with wax that has dried up because, yeah, it just breaks apart. So, some of those free toolkits, they do come with wax, but most of them are old already. Um, yeah, I might need to send that feedback to the shop that I'm purchasing these kits from, but yeah, I might do that someday. Um, just letting them know and yeah, uh, like this uh, specific storage one. I just use this for trash drills so you can see there's Yeah, trash drills um, I just don't know how to properly dispose them yet. So I just place them in this tiny container as for now and aside from that I actually purchased a diamond painting sealer. I haven't used this one yet this is the only one I can find here um, within the country or something that is accessible to me. Um, so I might need to do a separate feedback or video for this as well um, with the process as to how I'm going to apply it with my diamond painting kits, the ones that I wanted to seal because I'm experiencing some popping. So yeah, you can seal your diamond painting kits. You can also choose not to do that. So it's not really required. Now, um, anything else that I have here are these baggies. Um, I usually 
I just bought this because I needed them for the extra drills. So the extra drills are the drills that are leftovers when you already finished doing a diamond painting kit and you have a lot of extra drills that you are deciding not to throw away yet because you're planning to do a separate project in the future or you just feel like you might need those extra drills with the upcoming projects because sometimes you might run out of the diamonds unexpectedly. Now you can use that as an uh, alternative for the um, projects that you'll do in the future. So I do use these baggies. I place the extras here um, for every kit and then I label them just to make sure which from which product project those extra drills was. Now, aside from that, I actually purchased this very recently. Now, to be honest, it must be just a quick decision on my end, and you know, it's maybe an impulsive buying session for me. But the purpose of this one is just to place. If you have round containers, you know, you can place them here uh, to know which drill that came from. Then you can place your tray here. So this is usually best to use when you're working on a confetti heavy diamond painting kit. And you might need to use different colors. And for my case, since I'm only using one tray, I tend to just go back, you know, get some drills, pour some drills here, shake it, and then once then go back and then pour another color and then go back. You know, it's kind of a process. Now, if you don't want to do that, um, most of the time you can use this. Uh, it kind of helps it um, stabilize these uh, drills, these green ones. Now, if you need to use the color, you know, pour it out and then just get, get the tray um, out of there and then use that color. And then if you need to switch, you can just grab this one then switch and then so on and so forth. Now, I felt like I would be able to use this um, given that, like I said, I only use what I have and I don't really usually buy um, extra large trays. So I'm really, really hoping that I would be able to utilize this. But for now, um, since I don't have a permanent working space yet, I do try to use it sometimes. But yeah, it's just here ready. Um, among my tools for my diamond painting craft yeah okay so what else should i let you see i wanted to show you one of the things that i also purchased not a tool but this one i recently just purchased uh, this is a i guess a mini diamond painting project um in a form of bookmark so I don't know, it's just really pretty. I love the color of it. It comes in gold and black and it has very special drills. Um, I love working with special drills. They're just really pretty and they are on a different size or shape or whatever it is uh, that is very interesting to me. And so I found this product uh, again in the same shop that I'm purchasing my diamond painting kits. I won't be able to really use this as an actual bookmark because so obviously there's bumps in it because <laughs> yeah because of the um, jewels but uh, of course as part of my projects you know I can consider this as an additional mini project that I'm working on and I actually have another one that I am yet to finish that's what it looks like without the drills. Uh, it's on a separate separate design as well. Yeah. Alright, so what else do I have to see? Show you, I mean. Um, yeah, so I'll just run quickly through these extra drills that I have for now. At this moment, I don't have a system for them yet. But I do have washi tape here. Uh, just a tiny bit once. I have it washed. A wider version yet but I might now here are my extra drills so this is from the first project that I did this in sunflower so this is the extra drills from that project next one okay this was the uh, Luna 
from Project Luna. This was the extra drills from that specific project. So I usually keep them in this uh, storage bag, um, resealable bags as well. Um, from the Little Prince project, uh, these are the leftover drills. And of course the Sailor Moon one, can't forget that. Um, yep, this is the extra drills for that one. And this comes in 47 colors, or 37 I think, yeah. And yeah, this one is the leftovers from the project, the partial, partial diamond painting project that I did. So like I said, even if I have only a small stash at the moment, I might create another video for you guys just to show my current stash of the things that I've, I've already finished. Obviously I have four finished projects and then the upcoming ones and the current work in progress that I have. For now, that's everything and every tool that I'm using within my diamond painting career, if you can even call it that. <laughs> um, as long as I'm doing this craft, of course, I am going to keep on using those said tools. And so, yes, I just want to thank you so much for your time and for your interest in watching this video. I hope I will see you again in my channel and I would really love to create more diamond painting related contents in the future. I'm actually um, from the Philippines by the way. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, it's free. You can do so. You can unsubscribe anytime if you don't feel like it anymore. Now, yeah, um, if you have any suggestions or if you would like to ask me some questions, I will do everything in my power to answer that question for you. Just go down in the comments and leave your questions for me and your comments. Once again, this is the first video that we have for 2024. I just wanted to wish you all a happy new year. I hope you have a very good health. Obviously, I don't have at the moment <laughs> because of my throat issues, but yeah. Thank you so much for your time, everyone. I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.